Howdy, my name is Emma Tobias, and today I'm going to be embarking on a very important journey of art, photography, and the inner soul. I'm going to tear rank author photos. Why am I doing this? Because I am obsessed with the author photo. It's both a tool of marketing and an artistic expression, which is something that I both hate and also am sort of obsessed with. So I have my tier ranking here. I'm gonna go through them. The very top tier is art direction. This means that not only the photo feels art directed and the clothing that they're wearing, but they're like art directed. They're like the people that you see online and you're like, I know this isn't just for show. Like I know that you're actually this cool in real life. Right below that we have would help you out of trouble slash big sister vibes. This is someone who you feel like you can trust. This is someone who would help you out of trouble. They would be there for you. They might lecture you like a little bit, but they're never gonna tell your parents. You know what I mean? Then we have your history teacher who gives you dad energy. This is someone who like is a father figure at school. He teaches you history, but he also could be your dad. Same person, different font. I think that is pretty self-explanatory. And then very bottom, would lie to about there being a party. Someone that comes up to you and they're like, oh, is there a party this weekend? And you're like, oh, I don't, I don't know. And then if they find out that you lied, you're like, well, sorry. <laughs> so but yeah, I have 38 authors here. I just chose like ones that I like and then ones that are fairly popular. You know, keep it, keep it cool, keep it casual. The first author we have here is Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. This is art direction. Look at that photo. She's got a color blocking dress. Her makeup looks amazing. She's smiling, but kind of to the side. I think that one makes sense. Americana is a great book. So next we have Sally Rooney. I have not read Normal People. I've not seen the TV show because honestly, it looks like it'll bum me out. Um, for now, I am gonna switch these out. Potentially, I'm gonna put Would Help You Out of Trouble Big Sister Vibes. Al James would lie to about there being a party. I think that's clear. It has nothing to do with the sexual nature of her books. It has to do with the fact that her books depict basically abusive relationships. I don't want her at my party. She seems like she sucks. Hank Green! Hank Green have not read an absolutely remarkable thing with the robots, um, but I think I'm gonna say It's between would help you out of trouble, big sister vibes, and your history teacher who gives dad energy because he does like SciShow and does all of those um, crash, co crash course shows. So I feel like I'm going to put him there. Also, like, look what he's wearing. He's got a denim jacket on. He's wearing like a button, the glasses. He's like one of the new cool millennial teachers who comes to school and is trying to make like history interesting by playing Hamilton. I was out of school when Hamilton came out. I don't know if that happened. I'm sure it did. Marie Lu. I've never read a Marie Lu book, but she was on a list of the top 10 most popular authors of 2010s. So I'm going to put Art Direction because look at this haircut, this turtleneck, the black and white. She's looking off to the side. I obviously have a thing for like looking off to the side. Art Directed. She seems fabulous. Rick Riordan. First of all, he's got a suit that doesn't fit him. We stand. I love Rick Riordan. Rick Riordan could be in Art Direction because his life is Art Directed, being that it's beautiful and him and his wife Becky just, just having an empire but in a lovely way. And then would help you out of trouble, big sister vibes, like this man is no judgment I feel like. But he is literally like an ex-history English teacher. So your history teacher who gives you dad energy. Like obviously people call him Uncle Rick. Morgan Matson is next. Morgan Matson, the queen of the YA contemporary set in the summertime. Um, I just realized I didn't put Jenny Han on the, this list and I feel like I have failed. Jenny Han though, by the way, would be would help you out of trouble, big sister vibes. Um, for right now, we're gonna put would help you out of trouble, big sister vibes, but it's coming clear to me very quickly by putting Sally Rooney and Morgan Matson next to each other. But they're the same person, different font. Stephanie Meyer. Ooh, boy. Stephanie Meyer, has she said things that are definitely problematic? Yes. Would lie to about there being a party. Um, Lee Bardugo. Lee Bardugo is the biggest 
would help you out of Tarbo Bix's survives that ever lived. Lee Bardugo in this like it's almost art directed but there, the hand isn't quite doing it and then the other it's not quite there with the pose for me and she is looking off to the side but it's not quite there yet. She definitely is would help you out of Tarbo Bix's survives though. Taylor Jenkins Reed. She's same person different font. Honestly all these women could be related. Who knows? Um, it's like all the women in the Star Wars movies that all have brown hair, except for Morgan Madsen's blonde. It doesn't matter. Uh, V. Schwab. I've never read a V. Schwab book, but V. Schwab is totally would help you out of trouble big sister vibes. I feel like V. Schwab is down to clown. And some rigs, I think is art direction only because of Tara Mafi, who I'm going to include later in this. Um, she has elevated him. But also like this photo, like I love how the contrast of the black and white, he's looking off to the side, the quiff, the, the shirt, art direction. Donna Tart. Never successfully finished a Donna Tart book, but Donna Tart is art directed. I mean this whole David Byrne moment with the suit and the hair and the and the arms. Stop all over me, Donna Tart. This is this is gorgeous. I have Michael Chabon. Michael Chabon wrote one of my favorite books of all time, The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay. Michael Chabon. This is tough because I really like Michael Chabon. I'm liking this look that he's giving us with the suit and the hand, but he has a floppy hand. I'm going to say would help you out of trouble, Big Sister vibes because I feel like Michael Chabon is very cool. I feel like, you know, he, he understands what's going on but he's not quite there yet, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like he doesn't know what TikTok is, but if you called him and you were like, dude, I'm at this rave, some crap happened, he would pick you up because he's like a 90s man. He totally was like a, a punk kid, I feel like in the 90s and the 80s. Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens, I wouldn't, I would, I would lie to about there being a party. Um, Dan Brown is between would lie to about there being a party and also your history teacher gives off dad energy because every dad loves Dan Brown. Also, look what he's wearing. Like, look at this outfit. This is totally just like your high school history teacher. Same time, I would lie to him because I don't want to hear about his conspiracy theories. Queen of cute contemporary YA also, Sandia Menon, who's about to come out at some point with an adult romance, so I'm very excited. Uh, Sandia Menon's totally would help you out big, big, sister vibes, but I also think she's art directed because I love that her shirt matches the background. I love her earrings. She seems lovely. She seems wonderful. She's totally art directed. She's totally top tier. Maureen Johnson. She is totally would help you out of trouble big sister vibes. Like completely. I feel like she is there to pick you up wherever you are and make sure you're okay, especially with that like baseball tee she's wearing. Cassandra Clare, I've recently gotten into the um, Clockwork Angel Mortal Instruments Infernal Devices world. I'm kind of here for it. Um, Cassandra Clare, this is tough. I feel like she's your history teacher who gives you dad energy or mom energy. I don't know why I feel that way, but it is how I feel. Next, we have Emma Straub. Emma Straub is my favorite adult author. Um, this is tough. Emma Strong's probably same person, different font, but the problem is, is I feel like she's also would help you out of trouble, big sister vibes. I do like follow her Instagram presence and she also owns Books Are Magic in New York. And for that reason, we're saying art directed because if you own a bookstore, a beautiful bookstore that authors love and you're like doing stuff for the community, you're totally art directed. Next, easy, Elizabeth Acevedo is art directed. Elizabeth Acevedo's books are art directed. They're gorgeous. She's able to write, like, every book is an award winner, in my opinion, and they do win lots of awards. She, I mean, that's, like, clear no-brainer, obviously. Stephanie Perkins is, would help you out of trouble, Big Sister Vibes, but also same person, different font. It just makes sense, but I feel like she also works for would help you out of trouble. I think any of the women in same person, different font could work up there, but this is a bit we're doing and we're sticking to it. Next, who is this woman? Who is she? Who are you? And for that reason, same person, different font, because I don't recognize her. Someone tell me who this woman is. I don't know who she is. John Green, ooh, John Green now, I feel like is your history teacher who gives you that energy. I think it's John Green in 2020. John Green in this picture, 
is someone I would lie to about there being a party. John Green in this picture is somebody who would just like annoy me completely at a party. So I feel like that's where he's going. 2020 John Green I feel like would be your history teacher who gives off dad energy. Next we have James Patterson. James Patterson, um, while looking like your history teacher gives you dad energy, maybe. Honestly though, I don't know that pose, the glasses. I feel like he's a guy who has a really low rating on rate. My professor, he's totally would lie to about there being a party for kind of the same reason Dan Brown would. Jane Austen. Jane Austen. Art directed? Yes. Jane Austen's art directed. I know this doesn't even, this might not even hurt, be her, but I, that's how I feel. Last row. Uh, J.R. Tolkien, your history teacher who gives you dad energy. A man who writes so many languages is a man who is your history teacher. We have Celeste Ng. Um, Celeste Ng, I feel like, would help you out of trouble, Big Sister vibes. I mean, the stance, the coolness, her, like, outfit, her hair, like, the pose. She would totally bail you out of a situation. Next we have Sarah J. Moss. I've never read a Sarah J. Moss book, but this picture alone is same person, different font. Tell me the difference if you didn't know them and Morgan Matson wasn't smiling between her and Morgan Matson. Also, who is this woman? Why don't I know who she, why can't I remember? I put this picture here and I don't remember who she is. Neil Gaiman, but old school Neil Gaiman. Old school Neil Gaiman. I wouldn't invite him to a party. I wouldn't invite him. I would lie. I wouldn't invite him. No. Maybe now, but with no Amanda Palmer because they're getting divorced. I don't know, but no. So you have the queen of my heart, Nora Roberts, um, queen of all romance. Nora Roberts, this is a tough one. I want to say art directed, but she's art directed in like a very specific 90s way in this picture with her black suit and her little flippy hair. So I'm going to say your history teacher who gives you like dad mom energy. William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare, this outfit, I mean this outfit's art directed, but we're gonna definitely say um, probably <clears throat> would lie to you about there being a party or big sister vibes. We don't know if Shakespeare wrote Shakespeare and for that alone, the controversy, I wouldn't want it at my party. Suzanne Collins. Suzanne Collins would help you out of trouble, and we all know it. Jasmine Gilroy. She's a romance writer. I'm a huge fan of hers. I'm gonna say your history teacher who gives you dad energy, or your big sister, or art directed. I feel like she could go to any of these because her books are absolutely art directed. I'm gonna say um, would help you out of trouble. I think she would definitely help you out of trouble, but I also feel like she's art directed. Four, we have Alicia Ray right here. I love Alicia Ray. Also a fantastic romance writer. Um, this picture, I wish there was giving us more. Like, I wish I could have more of, like, a moment. So the picture is an art directed. But I feel like she is art directed because her books are so good. And she's, like, I mean, her, like, look at her. Like, she's smiling to, she's giving us it all. Like, the joy radiating. You know what? For that reason, we're moving Jasmine up here to art directed. Tara Moffey, easy, don't even worry about it. I already said this, Tara Moffey is art directed because she not only is art directed her her life and herself and her books and her vibe and like the way she dresses and her, like the interior of her home, but she's obviously art directed Ransom Riggs and she's brought him to her glory. Zadie Smith, um, I wanna say Zadie Smith is art directed because Zadie Smith intimidates me. And then finally, yeah, this is an easy one. We don't want you at our party, JK. I wouldn't even lie to you. I'd just say it to your face. I'd say, you're transphobic. You can't come. So that was my tier ranking of author photos. I really enjoy most of these authors. I think it was pretty obvious the ones that I don't enjoy. Um, but I, it really, this was fun. Like, I had a good time doing this. Um, obviously, no shade to any of these authors except for the ones I meant to shade JK Rowling. But this was like, yeah, this was fun. Let me know if you disagree, if you agree, who you think I should have included, if I should do another one. This was a great joy. Um, anyway, have a lovely day. Let me know.